Well, I'm at Camp Bean. Um, it's from the other uh, place I came on that other Colorado trip video. But anyways, when I was up here, it didn't look like that. So, I'm going to clean this shit up and then uh, set up a little, little day camp here. But I got it all kind of scooped into one pile. So, it's just bad form. Bad form. And it's a shame too because it's all MREs and uh, well with granola food, booze, but whatever. Um, like I said, I'm going to clean this up and then set up my camp here and I'm going to haul that shit out. So that's the plan. The reservoir was dry, by the way. So not that I'm not freaking having the best day. But stuff like that, man, that's that's ridiculous, man. I hope there's a receipt in here. There's like four or five different shopping bags, so maybe uh, I can get this down to the old man, see what he says about it. But anyways, I don't want to waste my film on the trash. I got that uh, poncho, poncho up, I'm going to tie that off, centered it a little better, but it's probably going to rain, so I'm going to get my hammock up under here and just chill through it, there's not good, anyways, there's my ridge line going across. Um, got my excess wrapped around there. It's kind of a quick pull deal. And that's it. There's my pile, my midden pile of junk over there. sausage <laughs> and maple circle so um, here it is shelter they've been getting afternoon rains which is good because they've been in a drought um, so this area is pretty damp um, but there's not a lot of mosquitoes or anything so that's a good good deal that'll probably change when I start cooking but um, just an outrageous place. There's a trail, kind of cuts through here, but that, that camp that I showed you earlier, I cleaned up all that trash and I'm going to haul that out, but um, I think it just is a trail into the camp from that side. The reservoir is over that way. Um, I'm just hanging out, enjoying the day, so I'm going to get that boot on right now. Try not to waste too much time on gear, but um, here's a uh, cold weather U.S. Uh, canteen cover. And then I have my um, MSR pot, and inside that I have one of those little foldy cups. And then inside that is my uh, cup cup. So you can do the bake bake in bannock in there too. So, anyways, that's the rig right there. You can heat water, 
and then heat heat a drink in this um, whatever combo. But anyways, just wanted to show you that. Here's the lowdown of the hoe down. I'm just uh, heating up MRE chicken and dumplings. There's my little, oh, I'm gonna take my nap, <laughs> my little hooch, and uh, just a midden pile of junk. Again, way too much, but I like getting a pack on my back, and um, it's no more than uh, I would usually carry for for something like this because it is the mountains it's not just a little hop skip and a jump at the park so I'd rather have it not need it than need it not have it blah 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 but anyways and plus I'm gonna use some of the stuff and just uh, have a good time man it's been too long so I was up here last winter and uh, just a sit rep on that. I did package all that junk up that was in there, so that's good. I'm having a, a GI hot chocolate with lots of sugar and extra creamers, and it's still not that sweet, so I'm thinking about adding a maple syrple in there and then uh, sweeten that up a little bit. But, unbelievable place. This is this is Camp Bean. Camp Bean USA right here. So Yeah.
Okay, here's the uh, short version. Got in the, the rig, drove from San Antonio to the San Bernardino Mountains. Hung out there for about a week. Did some hiking in Deep Creek and around the uh, local area there where my folks are at. And then went, hit the road and we drove through, uh, we drove through Nevada, drove through a little bit of Arizona and a bunch of Utah and now we're in Colorado so my wife and I just um, had some time so I, I had two weeks vacation so I took it all in one one lump and we just started driving and it's been awesome she's down with the grandbabies right now which is uh, where I'm gonna be heading here pretty soon but I, I walked about three and a half or four hours up this mountain and now I'm just lounging. I just ate some uh, chicken a la king, MRE, delicious goodness. And I had a hearty beverage of hot chocolate, instant coffee, about four sugars and four creamers. So it was more than hearty and delicious. And now I'm just lounging in my I know we love the gear, so let's see what name of this, or the name of this is. It's called the Travel Hammock. The Travel Hammock. That's it. Alright, <clears throat> there's the uh, camp bean all broken down. I'll be back soon. There's some big beast up on the hill. Well, I didn't catch him, but there was a, a few elk going right across it. That was pretty cool, man. I just saw the butt of one, and it was pretty big. So that was cool. Might run into him later down the trail. Hopefully not head on, but <laughs> that was awesome. Some elk larvae. Okay, here's Camp Bean. I'm all packed up. Here's the bag of junk that was all in there. And just one more 360 view. I've been doing a lot of those, but I'm not much of a filmmaker. Just documenting uh, some of the places I've been lucky enough to see. So I guess on that note, I'm going to walk down this mountain and then uh, go eat at a restaurant. <laughs> Here's uh, Stanley Reservoir, <clears throat> what's left of it. They've had quite a drought here, so you can see the effects of that. Still beautiful though, it'll fill up again. Here's my six. Just went through that boulder pile there. <clears throat> Could have been a predator ambush zone if you're psycho and paranoid about that kind of stuff. Megafauna. Could have jumped me. didn't. We're good.
gonna have to get that the next trip. The, the, the sad thing, I don't know, it ain't sad, it's just the way it is, but the, uh, the fish and bait jars, the little salmon egg jars, that's what I see the most of. I've probably saw a hundred of them just on that shore over there. So, I mean, I'm not going to cry like the TV movie Indian guy or nothing, but it is, is kind of messed up. There's a dude and his sons are up here, and they found a old hammer and some big bones and some pretty cool stuff. So it's it is neat to look at. There's a fishing float and another bait container. It's amazing how many pairs of underwear and shit are up in here too, <laughs> and of course beer cans, but. Like I said, it's it's just part of the reality, I guess. I don't know. I ain't gonna get all philosophical on you, but the water line is up there. I'm gonna go straight across, and you can see it there. That whole line, so. I don't know if it has something to do with the fires they've had or if it's just the drought. I'll try to find that stuff out. Um, maybe it just does this once a year, I don't know. But I'm going to move out now and unless I see something really cool, I'm probably going to shut it down for the day, but man, what a hike. I got a ways to go down this hill or mountain. And uh like I said, I'm gonna get some chow tonight with the fam. And probably get in a couple more hikes before I split. But that's it. Here's the story on that. <laughs> the last clip, I was walking by the old camp that my son Bean and I stopped at that one time we were up around Christmas. Anyways, I was going to do a little video cinematography <laughs> and I hear the sound thought it was an elk at first because I couldn't hear it very clear. I thought it was bugling a little bit, but no. It was like a light, light, big ass bear, light colored. It was a black bear, but it was like a light cinnamon kind of color. <laughs> and it chomped his, chomped his jaws, snapped it, it's in the video. And uh, I just kind of got a tree between it and myself. And the only thing I could hear is my heartbeat. Because there's nothing, nothing really up there. No one's up there right now. Um, 
I'm basically trolling for bears hauling this shit through the woods. <laughs> Trying to do a good deed. And it didn't have any interest in it or I would have dumped it. I wouldn't hesitate to scatter it through the woods. But I saw a shoulder and I heard chomping. And when they're chomping, they're, they're, they're pissed. They'll moo like a cow. And uh, when they're chomping, that's, that's like pink slip. And now I'm walking that down most ricky tick. Well, I'm not, not running or panicking, but that did freak me out because it was so close. And I'm getting some, hopefully some good distance between me and that grumpy thing but anyways high adventure <laughs>